Hey, this is Hey Vern from the forums, uh, Lost Marble Forum, uh, demonstrating a new tool. Somebody was asking about a Z Translate tool. I hope I haven't jumped the gun because some uh, someone else had also created a, a, a script or a tool that did this. But it, this only took a few minutes to edit the existing layer tool. Uh, once I figured out the code, it was a linear regression, blah blah blah, code math stuff. <laughs> anyway, once I figured out the the formula, it was just one line of code in the uh, existing layer tool um, to scale compensate for uh, Z translation. Um, now I could just edit the regular layer tool, but I, I went ahead and created a custom tool um, just for testing purposes. So basically I have this tool that's an exact copy of the existing layer translate tool um, and basically what it does is it, it just compensates the scale so it's it's a formula and um, so here's this layer I have a uh, I have a zero layer which is uh, zero uh, Z translation and it also is a one-to-one -one scale um, and that's what it's based on it's based on scaling from one and Z translation from one um, that's how it works so I'm going to hold down the alt key just like the regular translate tool and I'm going to change the tra the zero translation as you can see nothing happens it it's changing its order but it's not doing anything else so for example this uh the depth sort for this group layer is sort layers by depth sort by true distance um and that's based on the actual distance in the z-axis so I can go to this so let me go back to this one and reset it back to zero now that's the only bug right now is that setting a zero value in the text boxes doesn't compensate but all you have to do is click with the tool and it it, it resets it to zero um, and then so that scale sets it back to one um, so let me go back to this tool and I'll what I'll do is I'll turn these all I'll turn some of these off and we'll we'll do this layer right here. So now this layer is above uh let's see it's set for 0.75 z translate so let me see if I can bring it up. Okay, so there we go. That's let's make sure I got that one selected. Uh it's hard to tell. That's the other drawback is you it's it because you're scaling and compensating it's hard to tell what layer order you got going here so uh, I'll go up here and if I translate the group tool there you can see all right so that layer is now on top so this one should be on top and I believe it is let me turn these layers off so I can see what's going on here oh, okay so there it is all right so see that one is selected I think I translated it too far that's another bug if you if you go too far there it is it's green um, yeah so if you go too far I really got to update it so you can do it up here in the uh, in the box these are the kind of things you have to work on but anyway you can get the idea I'm translating the Z X the Z translation and it's automatically changing the scale so here's the scale, it's 0 0.6 something and if I go back to the tool and I change the Z translation and go back to the scale you can see that the scale has changed to compensate for that and it does it all interactively. Um, the nice part of this tool is that you can keyframe these values so if I use that magic tool, the magic Z scaler uh, on the group layer, I can change the parallax distance, the z distance, interactively. So you can you can make the separation really big and dramatic, um, but it's keyframed. So you can change it over time and have it change interactively. Um, I know what I'm going to be using this thing for is for somebody mentioned using it for uh, animatics. Uh, importing Photoshop layers I mean what a great idea but what's really cool about it is now you can you can just do it really easily and animate it and see it happening um, um, 
so not only can you keyframe the top layer but I can go in and also keyframe um, the sub layers in that group so there I just whoa you see if you go too far it gets all wonky um, I probably should change it so it only does smaller values or at least update it so that it works with the uh, the input box but there you can see that I've, I've translated that so then you can actually animate layer order changes so you can see that that green ball just translates back and forth through the layer order uh, interactively based on that and then they're all they all maintain their relationship uh, so they're all scaled to compensate so this is a really exciting tool and it, it didn't take me long to to, to do it was, like I said it was a really simple um, change if you're interested I can show you this is the code that I changed um, uh, it's not really uh, it's not gonna make sense to a lot of people and it's probably not done exactly the way it should but this is all I did was right here um, it was this block of code and this line so basically all I'm doing is this is my formula right here um, that I got so it's that number plus this number and through some magic thing that has to do with math that I do not understand um, this number times the the z vector it, and then I just calculate that and I'm just multiplying it times one I'll go through and look at this code and make sure I did it right but as you can see it, it didn't take much at all and then I'm just adding in a key value for the scale as well as the translation for the translate tool that's it that's so all I did didn't take much at all so that's uh, that's it I, I'll promise to get this tool up as soon as possible um, like I said it was really simple but I still want to tweak it a little bit and make sure it's you know, working out and let me know there's a thread in the scripting forum you guys can uh, comment on you know if, it, if what, any features that you want added to it but I just thought I'd give a heads up that it works really well. It seems to do the trick. I gotta test it out on Photoshop layers and do some storyboarding or something to make sure that it does what it's supposed to do. Anyway, thanks for watching.